guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have never seen my face before, hello, my name is Michaela, and I'd love for you to subscribe and become part of our family here on YouTube. So I've had a few comments asking to do a how I do my hair video or or a hair tutorial. So I think I have five super, super, super simple hair um, ideas how to fix your hair ideas. Super simple, you can do them with pretty much any hair type, thin, thick, short, long, probably better for like longer hair, but you can still accomplish parts of it with shorter hair too, because my niece has, she has pretty long hair, but when she had shorter hair while it was still growing, I could do some of this on her hair too. So yeah. Um, yeah, but without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and just brush out my hair. This one's actually my niece's, so it's not really a wide tooth comb for me, but it works great for her hair, so that's why I use it. I just couldn't find mine, so that's why I was using mine. So first, I wanted to part my hair a little bit further than I normally would have, so it has the twist starting right up on top of my head so I'm going to twist braid or just twist it down like I would a French braid so I'm twisting two parts together and adding more hair with every twist and I'm going to do that until I get all the way down to the back of my head because you want it to be a continuous twist all the way down through your hair also, make sure, you'll see me do this in a second, but make sure that you keep both sides of your hair separate so you don't get too much hair on one side and not enough on the other. So you can see how the twists are just forming. They start small up on the top of your head, but as they work their way down, they become bigger. So since i'm done with this side for now we will come back i'm going to tie it off with a hair tie just to keep it where i want it you could also put the end in your mouth if you wanted to but i just tied it off and so now i'm going to do the exact same thing i did on the other side to this side but basically it's just going to be a little bit looser because it's not as far up and i did make sure to leave a few strands in the front for little wispies and I tried to turn around here and then my camera almost fell that's what that face was so sorry about that I'm a drama queen when it comes to some things but I'm going to keep twisting all the way down and around the back of my head to the other side where our first twist braid stopped and I'm going to try to turn around here just a second so you can see I wasn't very good at this, I have to tell you that. I tried, but this is the first hair tutorial video I've done, so, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So once I get the twist all the way down and around to the back, I'm going to conjoin the two and start a three-stranded braid. So all I did is I took the two strands, twisted them a couple of times together, and then split it and put them all together and split it into three sections and I'm just going to braid it all the way down. And once I get to the very bottom, you can't really see, my hair was too long for this angle, but it was the only place that worked where you could see everything the way you needed to. So I get down to the bottom, and before I put the hair tie on, I'm going to spread out the braid just a little bit so it's nice and chunky. And then I'm going to add the hair tie. Then I'm going to take and pull out just a little bit more wispies. And then go through and pull on the twists themselves to make them a little bigger. I like to do this because it gives them a little bit more volume 
and honestly, my niece loves this hairstyle. She calls me Elsa whenever I do this, so it reminds her of Elsa, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that one's the first hairstyle. My niece loves this one. She's all the time begging me to do it on her hair, and she really does love it. So there's the back. You can see how the twist continued on down into the other braid. So... All right, on to hairstyle number two. All right, I'm going to take the part and put it back to where it normally would be from the first one. I wanted to like have another extra little, like my hair was parted over too far for that first one for you. But so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up right behind your ears and this is going to be a half up, half down. So you're going up right behind your ears. And you're going to leave out a pretty big chunk of hair at the front there. Like way too much hair. Like the, if you would just put it up in a little ponytail and leave it, that hair in the front would not look right. So you want that over dramatic ton of hair right there. So I'm gonna try to smooth my hair down as much as I possibly can. I'm also trying to use the viewfinder as a mirror for this. It didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but I tried very hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my hair tie and just tie up a half up, half down ponytail. I think I leave it as a pony. I may put it in a bun, but I'm pretty sure I leave it as a pony. And then I'm going to fluff it out. And then I'm going to grab some bobby pins. And you get to see the nice shot of my ear right there. So there are my bobby pins. And I'm going to fluff out the little... Oh, I am going to put it in a bun. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it into a little top knot, I guess. And then I'm going to use the bobby pins to secure it down. I had a hard time getting the bobby pins open for some reason. I think it was my nails. But I'm going to use my bobby pins to secure it down. And just use as many as you think you need. More is always better. So if you think you're good, add at least two more. Just to be safe. It never hurt to add a couple more just to be safe. And then I'm going to take part of that over left out hair and I'm going to actually just take and braid it and if you angle your braid back towards the back of your hair it's going to make it lay down flatter so when you add it in to the style it's going to look like it was supposed to be there from the very beginning and not what and not out of place so I'm just going to braid it down and where my hair is in that awkward phase of still growing out from where I had it dyed, it has about three different shades in it. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to bobby pin it up and under the bun on the top of my head. And that just creates the effect that the braid was there and running all the way through and into the bun. So in the back, in just a second, I'm pretty sure I show y'all, but if I don't, I'll try to explain it. It goes up and then twists around the bun and up and under. So you can see the braid on the side and then on the back as it like morphs into the actual bun itself. So there you see, and then it cuts under the bun. And again with my faces, I honestly don't know what I was trying to do with my face other than smile. Alright, so on to hair style number three. So I do pick through all my hair with my fingers before I start any type of hairstyle like I've been doing. It's just a habit of mine, but I have to do it or I can't focus. So I'm just taking a piece of hair and splitting it into two and I'm going to twist it down and angle it back so it lays flat whenever I go to pin it where I want it. 
So if you ever seen Avatar, The Last Airbender, this is kind of like the hairstyle Katara wears. So it's just twisted down all the way to the bottom. And like I said, I have long hair and it kind of cut out. So I'm grabbing my bobby pins again. And I'm going to pin it right under, try to pin it under the rest of my hair there, but I don't think it worked the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Nothing ever works the way I want it to most of the time, so. So I'm going to use two bobby pins to pin it. And it's not exactly Katara's hairstyle, but it's like the start of it. I don't have enough hair to do her whole hairstyle. It's like the little loops that are on the side of her head. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of my head as well. So it makes like a full little circle of twist on my head. Yeah. So I did twist this side just a little bit tighter because what the other side is the side that I part my hair to so it has more hair but this side where it doesn't when I twist it a little tighter it gives the effect of more hair because I'll go through and I'll kind of tug at it just a little bit to give it that full look and I'm going to pin it in the back as well so there's that look I believe this is hair style number three. Um, so I kind of had a tail that I forgot to tuck in in the back there but if you have a tail like that just take it and flip it and it should go away and be pointed down towards the bottom of your head. I, for I didn't see that until editing this video. All right this is hairstyle number five no four. This is number four. So this one, I attempted to Dutch braid. But as you'll see, my Dutch braiding skills are not what they are supposed to be. Even though I do try very hard to Dutch braid, they just, they lack. So I'm going to Dutch braid it down as far as I can. So this is actually like a Dutch braid and a French braid combo. I tried to keep it just a Dutch braid. But it didn't work, so it's more like a French braid with a little elements of a Dutch thrown in there. And I'm going to get to a certain point, and I'm going to stop, and I'm going to pin it. You'll see that in just a second, because I don't like these big chunky braids unless I'm doing a full braid where all my hair is in a braid to continue for a while. I like them just to be on that one side with so far back and pinned and then I have little tendrils of wispies pulled down in the front who make a little bit looser feel so I'm just gonna pin those back and so there's what it kind of looks like trust me it looks neater whenever you actually pick one braid that you're doing and stick to it instead of the Dutch combo whatever thing I did. But honestly, that was the best attempt that I had done so far. So you can put another one on the other side if you wanted to. You don't have to. I think it looks good just on the one side. So this is number five. And so this one is... We're just twisting the hair back. So you're taking one strand of hair and you're going to twist it and then pick it up with a little bit more and twist it back and then more and twist it back. So it's it's one strand of a twist, not two, but it's just twisted back super quick. Takes me like a second to do one side of my hair. Great for straight hair, curly hair, short hair, long hair. This is like anyone can do this hairstyle. But it looks like it took you forever to do. And it's just a little twist. And it's great. If you haven't figured it out by now, I might have already said this, but if you haven't figured it out by now, I like the twist. 
Like, it just adds something to your hair without it having to take two hours. And none of these take more than five minutes, honestly. The very first one is the one that takes the longest time because there's so many things going so many different directions. But honestly, the first one's my favorite. This is, like, my go-to one because it's so quick, but the first one's my favorite. And then you want to pull out some wispies and to frame your face and make it look a little looser. All right. So this is number six. It's a bonus one. And it's kind of self-explanatory. All you're doing is swishing your hair to the side. And you're going to pin it at the back of your head to keep it on that one side. So this is a, another good one for... You want to look lucky to try with your hair, but you don't want it to take two hours. And then you can add like a little itty bitty braid through it to a couple of itty bitty braids if you wanted to even. But it makes it look like you took the time and effort to do your hair without actually having to take the time and effort to do your hair. So all you're doing is adding like three or four pins. You're going to need to use more than two for this. Trust me, even if you have like that thin hair that works... With two, you probably want to use more. And you could also use, like, a decorative pin. And then pull out some wispies on the other side. Okay, so that was the video. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite hairstyle. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see, make sure you leave those down in the comments as well. And... Before you go, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't already. And I guess until next time, bye!